Bada bing, bada boom. Social Inform Media. This story comes to us from WFAA.com. And uh, this one, I'm going to put a video link, a link to the video link, a link to the story in the description box below. And it does say, warning, some of the language and video in this story can be considered graphic. So apparently there's a video in the story below. I haven't seen the video, but on January 2nd of 2022, Dallas police said Officer Baron Cooper was chasing a truck that was speeding at times going more than 100 miles per hour. The officer's body camera footage captured the whole thing. In the video, you see the end of the chase. I'll try to look for the video. And Officer Cooper jumps out of his squad car with his gun drawn and runs up to the truck. Cooper gets out of his squad car and runs up to the truck with his gun out. Unlock this. Unlocked it! Unlocked it! It's a luxury! It's a luxury! It's a luxury! Alright, yes sir! Get the f- hurry up! Yes sir! Yes sir! Get the f- hurry up! Yes sir! Yes sir! On the ground! Yes sir! Yes sir! Get the f- on that ground! Yes sir! Yes sir! Put your hands behind your Do it! I'm gonna die! I'm sorry! No, I don't wanna die! Now Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia said the moment he saw this video, He was appalled and fired Cooper after an internal affairs investigation. Eddie Garcia said it did not meet the standards, I believe, for this department. I was shocked by it and we have to hold ourselves accountable. I don't know Eddie Garcia real well. I've done editorials with him in them, you know, where he was mentioned or where he spoke. He seemed like a good police chief. But the Dallas Police Chief, uh, Dallas Police Department, I don't know. I mean, they did convict the one girl who shot uh, the guy in his own apartment. She got convicted. I don't know. He just, he seems like he wants to do right. I don't know. I digress. Eddie Garcia said, along with the excessive force, the officer didn't report he was in a pursuit. Wow. And violated the department's chase policy. That's why he didn't report it which only allows officers to chase people wanted for a violent crime. In Killeen, Texas, when I was there, it was the same way. Um, You couldn't chase, if somebody was just speeding and you tried to catch them and they sped off, you let them go. Unless there was a robbery or you thought that was a felony suspect or, you know, murder, something to that effect. Uh, But the Dallas police said they found the video only after after doing an audit of body-worn cameras and a supervisor saw the video and reported it to Internal Affairs. Cop watchers, are you listening? They found the video after doing an audit of body-worn cameras. That means had they never found this video, we'd never have a story. And the cop would have gotten away with it. Now, Eddie Garcia said these reviews of these audits are extremely important. Obviously, there are things that occurred throughout investigation that led to the fact that really that this had to do with review of body cam that wasn't generally connected to the incident itself. In other words, what he's saying is, had we not found this video, you know, so he's saying these audits of body cameras are very important because they find stuff that you go, wow. Did we get a police report on this? No. Now, when supervisors took a closer look, they also noticed the officer had crashed his squad car. You're going to hear my heater kick on. The wife's cold. When when supervisors took a closer look, they also noticed the officer had crashed his squad car into the back of the suspect's truck, causing damage, but moved his squad car before other officers arrived. That's contaminating the investigation. You can hear Cooper telling another officer the damage happened as a result of the teen's actions, even though the cop crashed the car. So it goes down from there. I'm going to put a link to this in the description box where you can go read it in its entirety. But here's another reason for cop watchers. Had they not found this body camera footage, 
this cop would have gotten away with all this and would still be a cop and he would still be doing stuff, shady stuff that he shouldn't be doing. He didn't report the chase because he was violating chase policy. You know? 